Welcome to this DigiParalyph Designer for Autodesk Inventor demo video. I want to show you how you can automatically select a car frame based on the payload. So for, 1000, for up to 1500 kg we want to choose a lateral traction elevator and for more than 1500 kg we want to choose a central uh, guided elevator car frame. To automatically change between this car frame and another car frame we can easily create a rule. So we go onto this rule editor and uh, okay we first choose the shaft this is where we want to assign the rule to so we go to the rule editor and we say okay we want to create a rule uh, for this shaft and the designation is uh, selecting car frame and the only thing we need to do is we have to add a condition the condition is um, is the payload so we go to the corresponding uh, payload column system payload which is currently 975 kilograms and we want to place the rule and we have two options one is less or equal 1500 kilo and the other rule is more than 1500 kilo and now we add an assignment we want to change the car frame so we go to car frame we select the car frame and the only thing we need to do is we need to choose the corresponding car frame. So for less than 1000 kilogram we want to use this type. So OK, we choose that. And for more than 1500 kilo we want to choose another type. So we, we choose this type here. OK. That's all. So in less than w in a minute we have placed the rule. So what? how can we try that? So I go to the car I have 900 kilograms. Let, let me update this. So during the update you see the car frame has not uh, changed. Let's disable this uh, visibility. Okay. So this is the platform visibility off. So uh, you see we have this um, car frame. So what we can do now, we go to the car and we change the payload. So let's say the payload is 1700 kilogram and if we update now what happens internally is that the car frame is exchanged and the, the system is uh, automatically applying this new car frame con uh, configuration. So it's very very easy to assign a rule that chooses a component based on a specific uh, property. So let's go back to 1200 just to be sure that it works in both directions and you see it's now switching back to the uh, L-type car frame. Thank you very much.